Hello and welcome to another episode of Robin Minds Fasting with In Conversations with Bimi. Hi Bimi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for joining us on Robin Minds Fast. You bribed me. <laughs> it's okay, but let's go. <laughs> so um when December was truly dirty because mm. one of the reasons why I was because Cardi B joined us. My bestie. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I was watching one of your episodes of um, off air with mm. yourself and mm. tools, mm. and you mentioned that you didn't even plan on interviewing her, mm -hmm. and um, but you did, mm -hmm. and you had conversations with her, and um, it was truly important what her coming did to um, the Nigerian tourism industry. It might not be now, but. But there was a lot of conversations online about Nigeria when she came. Mm -hmm. So, how important um, was that moment for you first before what it means to Nigeria? How come? Um, I think it was great. I did not. I knew that she was a vibrant person. She was very bubbly, etc. But I didn't expect her to actually sell our country the way she did. I mean, there's so many brands. I read this report that they listed out like all the things that she did for the various brands in Nigeria. Whether I was paid, whether I wasn't paid, or whatever the case may be. I feel like, I was telling someone the other day, yes, a lot of people from outside Nigeria were planning to go to Ghana. Um, but I f I'm sure they felt like, ah, come on, this, this Nigeria is not looking bad, though. I mean, look at all, all the fun that Caribbean mm -hmm. is having and all, all the things that she's doing. And I think she helped in some way definitely sell Nigeria as a fun place and not just somewhere that, you know, you hear scammer stories, Boko Haram, this, this and that. So I'm sure that when people are planning trips, they're going to, Lagos, Nigeria is going to come to mind. I mean, she made it look like look, it was a fun place to turn up, it was a fun place to go to. Yes, some people were like, oh, why didn't she go to Badagri? Or why didn't she go to da, da, da. That was where she felt comfortable. Mm. She went to where she went to, <laughs> and she felt at home. So leave the girl, and I feel like a lot of people were like, oh, wow. Well, they have this in Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria looks nice. Oh, Nigeria looks lit. Oh, Nigeria looks this and that. Um, yes, we still have things that we need to sort out. Our roads are a mess electricity could be way 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 better and so and security and all mm. these other things but i think she definitely played a role in changing people's minds about the way nigeria is and um usually what happens is when foreign artists come they come straight from the airport to the hotel from hotel to the show and boom back they She's might imagine they might uh, stop by an after party or whatever it is but she wanted to go out. She expressed that from day one. I want to go out. I want to go to the hood. I want to see the people. I want to do this. And she did that. She went grocery shopping. No international star has ever gone grocery shopping in Nigeria, ever. She did it. Some people claim it was paid for. Whether it was paid, whether it wasn't paid, she went to an orphanage. She went to the gentleman's club. <laughs> she went to all the places. She jumped out of the car at Zumba and was uh, with the lights, you know, those um, Christmas lights they put up every year. What no, what was it by? Was um, that road now? That um, I can't remember the name Christmas of the street. Cool town. Yes, that I road. So, I mean, she made it look like it was fun. And um, I, I'm sure that she changed some people's minds about Lagos, Nigeria. Oh, fantastic. But now, um, last week there was a conversation about World War III. Mm -hmm. And then um, it moved from World War III to um, Cardi B. <laughs> and then. <laughs> You know, it was funny. Mm -hmm. It was funny to see all of the conversations. But first, there was a conversation. When this came up, when her tweets came up mm -hmm. um, about her finding to become a Nigerian, and there's the Ghana Nigerian war. Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> and it was just really funny how um, she felt that a lot of Nigerians were like, ah, Ghana, it's 2020. It's really early. And then they've taken another L. And I'm like, <laughs> it was hurt. So, um, and then there was that conversation from when that conversation started, she now stepped it up by saying she wanted to pick her tribe. Mm -hmm. She felt like a lot of chance <laughs> and then she picked her tribe. Oh, she did, I didn't even see that. <laughs> ah, they were like Photoshop uh, pictures, different pictures. Oh yeah, I pictures saw the Photoshop pictures, yeah. She dressed in different tribes. So, mm -hmm. um, what did that mean? Do you think she would move to Nigeria? <laughs> I mean, I doubt that she'd ever move to Nigeria in the first place, but, you know, if for whatever reason, um, I know she probably wants to come back. Mm. Um, I mean, if she's paid to come back, she probably wants to come back and, you know, have fun again. Um, 
I guess it also shows you that the US isn't all that is cracked up to be after all. That every country has its issues. We have our own issues, they have their own issues. Um, so that's one way to look at it. On the other hand, I'm, I mean, if it takes an international celebrity for us to, continue, to remember to be proud of our country, oh well. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, it's hard sometimes when you live in this country and you deal with all the difficulty to feel good about the country. So times like this is fun, is bans. She's not gonna come and live here. Please stop it. But you know, it's, it's fun, is bans. But at the end of the day, you realize, you know what? Every country has its own issues. The U.S. is going through some. We don't even know what's gonna happen. How this is gonna affect other people in other parts of the world, oil prices, also there's so many question marks in the air right now. So I guess we keep looking, keep watching. If she wants to come, there's space in my house. <laughs> no problem, sure. You didn't get her number? No. Why? I don't know what's over farms. So you have to be careful before they give you a lot. <laughs> it's true now, I have to be careful. Someone was like, ah, you didn't get her to follow you. I said, the person that brought her, <laughs> is she following him? She's not following him now, so... Well, she wanted to follow Polo in Ghana, so... Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It was really amazing talking Thanks, to you. Thanks, Desmond. Thank you.